Hello everybody, this is Grace. And uh, in this video I'm just going to do some chit chat stuff. But first I want to talk about the, uh, the new analytics. The studio, not new, it's, it's been beta for a while. It was. But first, today I was going to go take do a um, daycation. I think some people call it staycation you know, around here. And uh, my plans got changed because I remembered that I need to go pay my post office box to rent. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Adam needed something at the store. So I thought, you know, I was going to do it either today or tomorrow. I had originally... He had suggested I go somewhere and, you know, go out of town, and I had said the same thing, but I don't like staying in uh, hotels. I really don't. I've done it so many times in my life. I traveled a lot. I used to travel so much, and uh, I'm just not a fan of, you know, do they take care of stuff like they should? I know, it sounds like a clean freak, but no, <laughs> yeah, some of them were pretty bad. Some are really nice. Hotels, motels, whatever. Studios, anything. So, any of them. I just didn't feel that they were clean enough. I would actually uh, take my own pillow. I'd take a pillow and a blanket and something to cover the bed. <laughs> they just didn't seem clean enough. Like I said. Anyway, about the new analytics. This, this is one of those videos that probably hardly anybody will watch. Uh, that tends to happen, and I'm going to do those every blue moon, so I have a new attitude for this year. Remember all the videos I had made about um, caring too much about what other people think, and that there should be, you know, a middle ground, and I'm too far on one end to caring too much, but I know that if I had all my videos on one channel, that would probably be much better for me all around. Anyway, but this new analytic. Yeah, I, I, at first, if, you know, change as it is, it's definitely something they teach about in sociology, and my degrees are in both psychology and sociology, and uh, I taught at college and university, so, yeah, you know, change is not always that easy for people, and I think, you know, some people, yeah, but, uh, you know, but overall, no. I'm going to put it that way. No, it's, change is not all that easy. For some people, it causes a lot of anxiety. Um, some people, it's just a frustration. You know, oh, I have to learn something new. When am I going to have to stop learning something new? Never. <laughs> That's my answer. Never. Um, no, especially these days with all technology. It's like every time you turn around, you know, something different. And uh, or you have to buy a new device. I, I, I figure it to be around two to two and a half years, you know, phone, computer, whatever. <clears throat> it's been like that for many years, too, in my view. Something's going to go wrong around that time, or something. Do I sound paranoid? Anyway. And now, they have been improving it, it's, so it seems. I, at first, to get back to this about the studio, at first, I really didn't... Uh, do too much with it because I like the classic. Classic, so clean, very clean. That's how I say it, clean. And uh, you know, it doesn't have so much all too close together. And that's how I saw the studio. But I like the studio because of some of the analytics. And um, I wasn't too fan about too much of a fan of the part with uh, like you hover over when you look at your videos and you hover over. Them. And it changes? No. <laughs> it's just, I still am not a fan of that. Um, but I like what you see underneath it. You know, like, you can click on it and see the analytics and for that video. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. And I like that once you do, you can see it instead of uh, watch time minutes, you see uh, hours. That's good. Okay. I know it's just a simple... You know, it's simple to trend, to, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Where did that word go? It flew right out of my mind. Okay, anyway, there are other features I like. I like, I don't know, I don't, really don't know um, how, you know, other people see these things, too. And I have more than one account, and, like, I can look under it, uh, another one, and see the monetization thing. I have all 
all mine turned off, by the way. But um, the monetization thing, and you can see how many subscribers you need um, and how many hours you need to, to get monetized. Um, I like that. So, you know, they never had it before, but simple calculation. So, okay. but overall, yeah, I'm starting to like it and I'm starting to see they have some good things. Um, I don't know what they're going to do as far as, I, like I have an iPad and I have an Android phone and they don't, neither one of them get the studio, so what are they going to do? I know on my iPad, I was able to go under, you know, desktop and was able to go under desktop and see, you know, the analytics and stuff like that, but on my iPad, it stopped doing that recently. I mean, I can't see the analytics, I could see other things, but the analytics of course you know I reported it and never heard back but you know, oh my goodness it's gonna be busy I know it's Saturday morning what do I expect <laughs> okay I guess I should go in there I don't like waiting in line forever sometimes it's not busy on Saturday though so we'll see okay, and yes it was a long line you know my experience with post offices over the years is that on a Saturday you know, they're, they're only open so many hours, if at all, um, or any day, really, is that they won't have that many people out. This one, you know, at the counter, um, they had two, and then right whenever, I don't know why it's telling me my brake light's on for some reason, but um, then um, right when it was my turn, finally another one came up, and of course, they kind of moved lower, really slow. Yeah. But it's usually that you got this long line, they don't have enough people working, you know, at the counter, and um, somebody's always going to have a problem. And I said always, didn't I? I'm serious. Lately, I have been saying always. I think I've been listening to too many people who say always. You know, the all or nothing, all or none types, and it becomes habit. <laughs> it's like contagious. Ooh, that was part strange. But it could. See, I'm starting to think in those generalizations and all that. So, that's not a good thing. Yeah, it took me too many years to deprogram myself and then reprogram myself. Yeah. <laughs> From being around a lot of people who do that, who say all or nothing. It's all, it's all people, or it's those, especially those who say those people. Not a good thing. So, I had to deprogram myself from my upbringing really seriously although I was one of those who was uh, hmm I'm an independent as I've said before so I and I just don't follow to just what everybody says that it should be or it is this way or I just don't always follow that I think for myself I don't need anybody to tell me how to um, how to see anything no, no, you have to do this, and you have to think this way, and you have to be that like that. I'm not like that. It just doesn't work for me. Okay, and I've said this before. I'm, I'm not a joiner. Okay, I'm not. And uh, I just don't want to belong to, you know, like some kind of group or some kind of party or ideology. You know, I have my own. I think for myself. Okay, and, and one of the reasons I was thinking about that too was I've noticed, you know, a lot of people over these years, my original channel is five and a half years that I was making videos, just making videos. Um, and I have noticed that a lot of people, not everybody of course, but a lot of people are just seem like they're just joiners. <laughs> you know, they subscribe to channels. And I know it's not just me. I've heard um, people talk about why do I have all these subscribers yet? only a few watch or something I noticed that too and I, I just see it as they like to join things um, and that that can be not just on YouTube but I've seen it on Facebook also they just join never say anything they're lurkers I, we used to call them lurkers back in 1990 you know they were um, I think it was called prodigy yeah I was on that service too but my first one was video tale but Prodigy, yeah, they call them lurkers, and they were all kind of, um, what were those called? I can't remember, it was so long ago. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Um, I'll talk to y'all in another video. If you have any comments, leave them below.